what is up and welcome back. It has been almost a year since I made a video. Not that anybody cares. I'm really excited because this is the one thing I request on my birthday every year. Panda, stop. You have to forgive. I mean, this is a real, this is a, a hot house. This is a live environment. This is the one thing I request on my birthday every year, carrot cake. Now, I wanna tell you a story about carrot cake and why I think it is the best, and then I'm gonna see how long I can last before I dig into this. When I was in college, I, had a, I took an ethics class, um, but it wasn't like ethics, this is what ethics, this is, this is like the ethical way to do ABC. It was, what is ethics? What does it mean for something to be right or wrong? And I think that class, among other things, has influenced me more than just about anything else that I've done. Because every day I constantly think, what does it mean that something is right or wrong? What is that like? What are we actually talking about when we talk about right and wrong? It's an interesting question. What does it mean for something to be right? What does it mean for something to be wrong? And actually I've asked this question of myself. I've asked this question of family members and I, and I don't know that, that there's a, a perfect answer for it. But what I will say is this. In this class with this professor, who is probably one of my favorite professors from college, um, <laughs> he made a joke. He said, look, there are certain things that we can, uh, the, uh, to which we can assign the att attribute of rightness or wrongness. He said, but some things, it doesn't matter. Like, for example, uh, what type of cake you like. There's not a right or wrong type of cake for somebody to like. He said, except carrot cake. He said, carrot cake is the worst. And I stopped the class and I raised my hand. And I said, hold up, hold up. Carrot cake is actually objectively the best cake. And so he and I got into this debate, which obviously was somewhat facetious um, because he, he was making the point that there it doesn't matter. Like ethically, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't make a difference what type of cake you particularly like. What matters is there, there are deeper things. There are, there are decisions that you make. Now, as I said before, carrot cake is my favorite cake. It's the, the greatest of the cakes. And this is the only thing that I request on my birthday every year. And uh, Sue has just perfected this recipe, so I'm super excited about this. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly enough, the reason why carrot cake is my favorite cake, not just the fact that it tastes the best and because it has the best frosting, because cream cheese frosting is is easily the best type of frosting. But when I was a kid, I'm one of 10 kids, the eighth out of 10. And um, when you're the eighth of 10 kids, you realize quickly that things are scarce. Scarcity is a real thing when you're in a family that size. And um, so you learn, I learned, that if you like the things that no one else likes, you get more of them. Hence carrot cake. Nobody else in my family, so my dad, likes carrot cake. Well, my mom too, but my mom, my mom is the one that taught me that you can eat a tomato like an apple and it's delicious. <clears throat> and it's, she's right, she was always right. I didn't believe her at the time, but you can eat a tomato like an apple and it is delicious. But I think the point that I'm making is right and wrong is kind of something you decide. The, the underlying sort of message and lesson, lesson <clears throat> that I've always taken from that experience with my professor in college is not so much the value, the, the objective value of cake, but rather don't take yourself too seriously because what you think is right or what you think is wrong probably isn't. It's probably just what you decided. Now I'm gonna eat the rest of this cake. Oh, and happy birthday to me.
I'm not done. I'm not done with my cake yet. Amazing. 